You guys never hear recording in progress, right? Just us. Is it, am I the only one that hears recording in progress? No, I, hear that. I don't hear it too. You're, okay. Oh, you know, these are, yeah. I ask questions. This is episode 240. We made it. Hey, what a great bunch of episodes today and uh, such variety. And to continue that variety, for those who are aware, I had to change computers last week. And so I, don't have the capacity to hold all the music I have. So I have it on a hard drive, a separate hard drive. And then, you know, I'd keep it there, right? So, you know, it's like having too many books on your shelf, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to share that and show you my meager new finds. And I'm not definitely going to share all of these, but this is my menu for today. And uh, Spencer made me think about hard rock. I think I can go in that direction because uh, that's not see. what I typically think of anymore. But like, yeah, that's why I chose it because it's not typical yeah, it was, for you. I was sort of surprised to see that the Queens of the Stone Age song had hit so many stations that are similar to KCSN. The format would be known as adult album alternative. Yeah, yeah. Hey, know it well. I mean, uh, there there are a few outlets like that that are really great. From yeah, different no, cities across the country, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Adult album alternative is a it's a yeah. format. It's been a format since like the early nineties, roughly. My mom used to listen to a station called what was it? FM one oh one nine. It was on Ooh, during yeah. the mid nineties. That was a hard rock station. Aha, uh -huh. no, it wasn't. It was one oh one point nine. Uh so you know, just to make no, it. No, it's more good. of a folk singer songwriter station. That that's more what I typically go for, is stuff like that. It's kind of that of the indie variety. Yeah. I got I got three hard rock bands visible here right now. I want to point them out and share them. Uh, the earliest of them that I found was Wonka down in the corner there. And uh, because I can, I like to play snips, especially because these bands are so not well known that I never get in trouble for sharing snips. So I'll turn on the sound before I start to snip. Hey, there we go. And then I look at those titles. I think to myself, hmm, let's go in the wrong door. What could possibly go wrong? There you <laughs> go. All right, I'll do headbangers. Rockin' on down the northern line I got a little hungry so I thought I'd have a hamburger I tried to get lucky in the restaurant car There's nothing doing so I headed for the bar Oh man, that's hard rock. I love it. That sounds Tasty. like uh, two triple cheese side order fries. Side yes. <laughs> Remember that song? No, well, what song? Two triple cheese side order fries. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Check that out. I'm looking up the, the artist right now. It's, I think it's Scott something. Side order of fries. I'll find it. Scott. Everything's Googleable. Yeah. So it's Scott something. Okay, I'll try Scott too. Scott something. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, Wanda. Wonka, excuse me, not Wanda. Wonka. <laughs> this is the Orange album, and uh, I think it's their only album, or at least the only one by them I like. But I did note down that this album, every song is, feels like a different band. And there are six, seven songs, and I wrote down six different artists that they sound like. Montrose, Rush, uh, Bebop Deluxe, Alice Cooper, and David Bowie. Oh, that's only five. Yeah, only five. So... Yeah, you know, there's a lot of different aesthetics in this group, so that's definitely one I'd highly recommend. They're a lot of fun. All right, back to the list. And the second hard rock band is CWT. There they are. Really short album, only 31 minutes. And uh, this sounds called The Hundred Weight. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, might have talked about these guys before. I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. But I said they also sound like Montrose with uh, like a mix of Montrose with blood, sweat, and tears. I feel like I've said that before. Maybe I'm just going to have to take it slow. Mm -hmm. got slow but i think they're going to pick up again <laughs> anyway uh so you know that's just hard rock hard rock I'm, I, got I'm little, a I got a little johnny the winter there early 70s sure yeah. sure yeah there's a little blues rock going on there yeah a little blues rock going on. yeah okay so finally get back to that list uh this is the newest hard rock one yeah, they're called Snail. Snail. And they had a few albums, but I just like their first two albums. They're in incorrectly listed here as metal. They're not metal. They're more like uh, hard yacht rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, like, like Journey, that kind of thing. So <laughs> let me put on one of their songs. Uh well, hell, let's just get to sexist here. I got a lady. <laughs> let's see what he has to say. That's practically easily listening music for me. <laughs> Man, I can put that on and totally ignore it and just let the vibe sink in. They kind of have a, a Edgar Winter band yep. sound, the hey. Bog Hat. Yeah. Yeah, all that early 70s stuff. You guys are naming yeah, the bands. Left God, I right. mentioned them too. I said getting China Grove, Fool for the City vibes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Don't sound yeah. like Rocky Mountain Way. Yeah, it's so yeah. it's so commercial. Pretty much all yeah. those are in the key of E major, so I can see uh, those comparisons. Let's see. I think there was one more thing I can tell you about snail. No, no, no. Did people make tracks to their concerts? No. <laughs> ah, shit! They even do them. I'll have to research that one. That was a new find, but it was. <laughs> I had to get that one off of my chest. All right, so that's hard rock. If you're willing to check out hard rock, those are three acts that I would recommend. To officials that need to crunch. And that's episode 240 of Fine Music. I hope you enjoyed the variety today. And uh, we'll try to do that for you every week. We'll see you next week. Have a great holiday, everybody. Thanks, you guys. Be safe. Take care.